Before you proceed with provisioning the 3M50 thermostat, you should have completed the following tasks. Installed the 3M50 thermostat and tested to make sure it is working correctly as a standalone thermostat. Make sure your Wi-Fi, network, and internet connection is working properly. Have your Windows 7 or Vista PC up and running and connected to your network. Installed the USNAP Wi-Fi module and powered back up the 3M50 thermostat. Verified the amber light is blinking. Note, amber light will time out if provisioning is not done shortly after you install the module. You should also copy down the pin number in the upper left hand corner of the screen. It will be used later in the provisioning process. To begin provisioning, click on the Start menu, then click on Connect To. This will open the Connect to Network window. You will see your normal network and the thermostat temporary network. First you need to select your normal network, then click Disconnect. Then click on the Disconnect again to verify you really want to disconnect. Next click on the thermostat network and then click connect. It will show that it is an unsecured network. Click connect anyways to continue. It then shows we have successfully connected to the thermostat network so we can now close that window. Now open a web browser. Now type in http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.10.1 one zero dot one and enter. This will take us to the provisioning page. Click on scan wireless networks. This will tell the thermostat to look for your wireless home network. Once it is found, you'll see your network name in the window. Next, we will click on the network. It will bring up the network settings screen. If you have security enabled, you will need to enter your network password. For security mode, we suggest the WPA2. Then we will click Next. The security screen will come up. This is where we enter the PIN number we found in the upper left-hand corner of your thermostat screen. Then click Set Network. That will show Provisioning Done screen. It's a good idea to print this screen. Go take a look at the thermostat to see if the green light is blinking. Look at the upper left hand corner of the thermostat. It should show the last digits of the IP address. If you see a red light, then the thermostat is not connected and you will need to wait till it starts flashing amber again and start the whole process over again. And finally, we need to connect to our normal network. We click Start, click Connect To, click on the thermostat, and click Disconnect. Then connect to your normal network. And you are done. Now you are ready to register your thermostat.